my dick. My dick. I can't talk. Like, what's up today? I see that you're doing very well. <laughs> you're looking very well. Welcome back I to my channel. Way. I am Keisha Jabri. And if you new here, what's up? What's good? What's popping? Today, I'm going to be doing a get ready with me with you guys because y'all really, really, really enjoyed the first one. So, I'm going to do another one. <sighs> if you guys can see, I'm looking like... I don't even know. I'm not looking the best right now. Clearly. But y'all gonna be here to get ready with me, so y'all gonna see the transformation. But I just got out of the shower. I ain't do nothing but wet my hair. Yesterday I did a wash and go, and a video will be on that really, really soon. Y'all, I got my Eco Salad Gel back. I got it back. I got it back. It's um in stores now, so I just went and bought it. It was high, but oh well. It's worth it. But I ain't seen y'all since prom, so we just gonna chop it up real quick while I'm about to do my hair my hair has been growing like a lot and I'm not complaining but like y'all y'all can go back to some videos like a few months ago and y'all can tell a big difference my hair has never been growing like this before like let me see if I can show y'all how long it is now This side is longer than the other side, so. This is this is my waist, right? Yeah, so I got waist length. That's crazy, y'all. That's crazy. So recently I hit 50K, and I'm really, really excited about that. Um, I don't even know, y'all. It hasn't even been a year yet. As a lot of y'all who've been on my channel for a while may know, I posted my first video June 1st of 2017. And I'm going to do something special on June 1st of this year. Because I never expected my channel to grow this much. Like, legit, in November, I was counting down to 1,000. And here I am, May, and I'm at 50K. Like, I don't even know but I'm just excited I'm excited I'm excited I'm just excited for what God has in store for me but I'm not gonna go into all of that because I am doing a 50k appreciation video so y'all gonna hear a lot more about that in that video but yeah so this week is testing for us in school if y'all didn't know I'm in 10th grade um the only luckily the only two test I have to take well state test I have to take is ninth grade lit and US history and for all y'all like why should you take a ninth grade lit what happened was my guidance counselor last year made a mistake she made a mistake and put me in 11th grade literature my ninth grade year and I didn't speak up because I liked the class so I was in there my whole entire year so um, this year I had to go backwards and I'm taking 10th grade lit and 9th grade lit at the same time. Yeah, it's a lot, but I'd rather get it done. So yeah, I'm taking 10th grade and 9th grade this year. And so I already tested on that. I took those tests on Wednesday and Thursday and today is Sunday. And I think I'm taking U.S. History sometime this week. I think it's on Thursday. I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. I'm taking that test sometimes this week, but I already know I'm going to do good on the ninth grade lit test because, come on now, it's ninth grade literature, but <laughs> U.S. history, my teacher be, she be, I don't even know. She makes it seem so hard, and I feel like the test isn't even going to be that hard and most of the time like standardized tests they don't even be over what we learn they be putting like sp like parts of speeches in there and then they'll ask you a question about the speech like what was the purpose of us learning all of these people and all of that if we just gonna be it's stupid but oh well but yeah i take that test this week hopefully i do good on that i don't know why my hair is doing this maybe because i did this yesterday and i did wash it all out yeah so hopefully i pass those tests and i'm doing this thing called dual enrollment what we call down here is basically like when you in high school and you in college at the same time and i did it my ninth grade year and i took psychology 
and I had like a high A in that class and then I missed the final so it knocked me down to a C I still passed it but I made a C in there so I decided to take a, a break from it the fall and spring of my 10th grade year and I'm just gonna take it this summer so I'll be taking um I know my hair look real straight right now but it's gonna curl up um, I'm taking it this summer so I'll be taking English and math this summer as a college student so I really won't have a break this summer two classes is better than eight classes that I have in the school year so I definitely have more time to put out more videos so yeah school I'm just ready for it to be over with the way I have set up like my high school how do I put this my high school path like, do I have set it up I'm basically done after this year next year the only thing I'm gonna have to take is some type of science and then that's it that's all I have to take so I could pretty much graduate next year but my um, school district, they don't really like for us to do that because they want us to take college classes instead of graduating early. So yeah, that's unfortunate. But I know you guys are probably tired of hearing about my school life, so I'm just gonna talk to y'all about my personal. So my friend just had a hotel sleepover thingy, my jigger, last night and I went. Um, y'all know how it be, you know, when people turn like 15, 16, no. Yeah, like 15, 16, 17. They have like the hotel parties where everybody dress alike. And that's what she had. I had fun. I didn't really expect to have as much fun as I did because I'm a nice person, but I'm not a friendly person. Like, if you get what I'm trying to say. Like, if you talk to me, I'm going to be nice to you. But friendly? No. Me and her, we went to middle school together, and she goes to a different high school than me now. So she has different friends, and her new friends were at the sleepover. And I was a little iffy about going because I'm like, I don't know. But I actually had fun. So, oh well. I had to show with the roaches and rats. Keep getting one of these boys. He keep telling me I went to prison and made me a better me. I can't get no job. I got too many felonies. I want to meet little baby. He is so cute. Okay, I think I put too much moisturizer on this part. I did, definitely. And I want to meet little baby. And I want to meet Amor Jada, too. I've been knowing about Amor Jada since I was like in sixth grade. I've been following her for a while. And that's just crazy that she dates him now. Every time he has like a, a performance, it's always at a club, and I'm too young to be in the club, so I can never go. And I'm sad. So he needs to have like a concert or something where everybody can come. Everybody be like, why don't you wear your hair down a lot? And da da da. Like, it's a whole process like that I don't have time for on a daily basis. I really don't. I wish I did, but I don't. And I would love to wear my hair like this every day. I would love to, but ain't nobody got time for that. Hold up. Wait a minute. It's 22. <laughs> Comment down below if y'all saw that video. You can legit see where my hair starts to change. I've been debating lately, like, do I want to cut my hair and, like, start all the way over? I don't know. It's been a thought for a while, but I'm just scared. Because I've never drastically like cut my hair ever since my prom vlog everybody been coming up to me Keisha got five boyfriends Keisha got five boyfriends y'all I don't have five boyfriends <laughs> I can't really go into detail but I don't have five boyfriends I have yeah let me just shut up because yeah no Cause one of my little boos watched my prom vlog and he was like, hmm, five boyfriends, huh? And I was like, no, of course not. <laughs> I was gonna straighten my hair, but I think I'm not gonna do it anymore. Cause I really like the direction my hair has been going in without it. So I'll stick to my units 
Fun fact about me is I do not like recording when people are home. Like, I feel like they're just standing at my door listening to what I'm saying. I don't like it. It's really awkward for me. I don't even like watching my own videos. Like, I don't know. I just, I don't know. Should I do a half a half down? I'm tired. I need a break. The middle of my head is the thickest, most stubbornest part of my hair. Like, OMG. It's like trying to comb through a freaking Brillo pad. And this section of my hair is the straightest. So, that's why when I do my wash and goes, I always have my part on this side because this part is curly and this part is straight. And so, when I put the curly part over the straight part, you can't really see it. That's just my little strategy or whatever, and it works. It works. Wow, 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 wow. Send me a people name. I I forgot the lyrics. Long distance, I need you. Hey. When I see potential, I just gotta see it through. If you had a twin, I would still choose you. I'm gonna meet Drake too, and Rihanna, and Beyonce, and Nicki Minaj. I just want to meet everybody. Everybody just have a sleepover in my house. How about that? All the celebrities come to my house. See? Straight. It'll curl up a little bit. Like, yeah. It'll curl up a little bit. It's not completely straight, but it's the straightest part of my hair. I have a bad habit of like, when people ask me what am I doing, I tell them and then I don't ask it back. And then they be like, well, dang, you ain't gonna ask me. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how that became a habit. But I do not be asking folks that. Because maybe I don't care what you're doing. So I've been using this brush the whole time. And as y'all can see, like, it's barely any hair in here. And this is all the hair that was on my fingers. So that's a good sign. Okay. But my most favorite part, what we're gonna do is lay them baby hairs. I'm getting more and more extra with my baby hairs. I don't know, I just like the look of it. So I got this got to be glued stuff for when I had my unit, but I honestly like it for my baby hairs because I don't like for my baby hairs to move like whatsoever during the day. And this ensures that like when I tell y'all, when I put this on there, they not going nowhere. They stuck. <laughs> Am I the only one who feel like boys shouldn't have attitudes like why do you have an attitude you're supposed to be a guy i'm supposed to have attitudes you're not supposed to <laughs> like to me that's feminine like your attitude should not be worse than mine it shouldn't be at all it shouldn't even come close lately i just been going with the natural shape of my eyebrow instead of like doing the most it looks better anyway only thing i might do is just like heighten my arch but besides that, I've been liking my natural brow shape. I've been wanting to get my eyebrows threaded, but the place I go to, people keep quitting. And I don't want to keep going there and trying a new person every time I go because I'll be about to have a heart attack. Anybody got time for that? Like, no. So I'm about to do my other brow and I'm going to be back. All right, so boom, I'm done with my brows and it's something in my lash. Get out of my eyelash. Because if you fall in my eye, I'm going to cry. Literally. <laughs> I think I want to do a eyeshadow look. So let me just go ahead and pull out my eyeshadow palette. Okay, okay, okay. So I don't know what type of look I want to go for. Go for. Maybe... Let's try a cut crease. A lot of people put concealer on their um, 
eyelid before they start, but I don't feel like doing all of that. So I'm just gonna start off with this light brown shade. So yeah, that didn't make much of a difference, but it will. Layer on a walk. Should I do an orange? I'm gonna do orange. I'm putting it all up in there. All right, next I'm gonna go in with this darker brown shade. And I'm gonna like put this towards the end and blend it. All right, so now I'm gonna do the cut crease. That's really bright. I did not expect it to be that bright. Okay, okay, I don't think I like this. I'm not gonna give up on the look. I'm not gonna give up on it. I'm gonna try to finesse it. Let's try to finesse this look. Cause I did not know that orange was gonna be that pigmented. So I'm gonna put some of the shade, um, some of the lighter brown that I had on the top of my lid. I'm gonna put some of it on my bottom lash line. We're still trying to finesse this look. It looks like I have a bunch of eyeshadow right here, but that's just my skin getting red. I'm just going to do the other eye, and I'm going to be back. So I'm back, and I did both of the eyes, and I think we're going to be good. I think I finessed this look real good. I just need some mascara. Get these lashes popping. I lost my freaking, um, I don't know what I did with my MAC mascara. I don't know where it could have went. Like, is she trying to run from me? Is she trying to say I use her too much? Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is take this concealer off of the back of my hand so I won't get it in my hair. I'm about to add some highlighter to my face and my eyes. <laughs> when I do that in class, people be like, what the heck? But that's how I scratch my throat. Who is at outside? Okay, not for me, but <laughs> I have to find me a lip color. I don't know. Should I try to switch it up, change it up? Hmm. I'm thinking like a brown. Let me try this. Let me just try it, and if I don't like it, I could easily change it. Hi, uh huh. I feel like I need to brighten it in the middle. I don't like how it's looking like old lady Bible study type of look. Okay, I like that. This is a matte liquid lip, so I'm just gonna let this dry and I'm about to put on some earrings. I think I need to change my shirt so we can make this a look for real. So that's what I'm about to do. This pose is really extra. I think I finessed it. What y'all think? I think I finessed it. I think I finessed it real good. I don't like how this keep. I need this to be flat like. Like, you know what I'm saying? I wasn't really expecting this look to look good because, like I said, I didn't expect that. Um, I can't talk. Like, what's up today? I didn't expect this glitter to be that bright, that pigmented. Like, I didn't expect it, but honestly, it came out great. Like, I really like the eye look I did. Okay, so before this video is over with, I want to talk to you guys a little bit about Allie Julia hair. Um, I don't understand why my freaking camera won't focus. So this is what the box looks like. It's a little beat up, but I don't think that's their fault. I think that's like the company that delivered it fault. So on the front, it just say Allie Julia. Um, it says 100% unprocessed human hair and they have their name again on the side and on the back they just give you a few tips when you're using the hair they reached out to me they are very professional i didn't like get any bad vibes from the company they sent me brazilian natural wave hair i wanted some wavy hair so that's what i asked for um i got an 18 inch frontal i'm gonna take it out so you guys can see Oh, and by the way, y'all, when I had my frontal for prom and I took it out, I was going to do a video on it, but I was, like, really, really scared that I was going to lose some hair. I really should have did a video on it, but I don't know. I was nervous. But anyway, I didn't lose any hair, so I guess I'll be doing frontals. <laughs> I was expecting, like, I don't know. When I think of frontals, I think of, like, glue and, like, 
You take it off, it's gonna rip. Anyway, let me get back on topic. Anyway, they sent me an 18 inch frontal. This is what it's looking like. Hold on, I gotta pop this thing. And also on the bag, it tells you um, what type of hair and the length that you got. So that's helpful. You can lose track of what you got easily. So this is what the frontal looks like. And the little pieces that y'all see, that's basically just lint. This is what it looks like. Of course, you'll have to probably customize it yourself, add baby hairs or whatever you want to do. But yeah, that's what it looks like. This is the curl pattern on the frontal. So the bundles come in a similar package. It has a rubber band right here to keep the hair in place. Um, same thing on the bottom. It tells you what type of hair it is. This is their Brazilian natural wave hair. I'm running my fingers through it to make sure it's like soft. I like it. This is 22 inch. This is the longest inch that I got. So this is probably going to be, it's going to be like right here. It's going to stop right there. But the hair is soft. I'm not getting no shedding. And I'm like yanking on it to try to see if it's going to shed even a little bit. Okay, I did get a few. I did get a few hairs. But besides that, I don't see any major shedding. The hair is soft. I like the curl pattern. And it's going to be really cute for spring. So, keep getting, my hair and this hair keep getting stuck on my lipstick. But... The hair is not really that defined because it's a natural wave. So, yeah, I think it's going to be really cute for spring. Thanks, Allie Julia Hair, for sponsoring this video, y'all. All of their information will be linked in the description box if you want to go buy some of their hair. So, yeah. But this concludes this video. I hope everybody who watched it enjoyed it. Y'all seem to enjoy my get ready with me, so I probably will be doing way, way more in the future. So, yeah, this pretty much wraps up this video. I need all of y'all to go follow me on Instagram at Keisha Jabri. If you enjoyed this video, please do not forget to thumbs this video up and also hit that subscribe button so you can become one of my cash babies because we lit. And if you subscribe, you can be lit too and you can be lit just like all of us. I'll see you guys in the next video. Love you. Well, I see that you're doing very well. Ha, you're looking very well.